Salam tonight, and I use the link. Greetings. In a Rasia di Nostafari. Um, we have just published a new book. Um, this particular book right here. This particular book. Um, Biblical Names in Amharic. We did a little video just to introduce, let ones know that it was available. A sister, um, one of our subscribers, I think, um, her screen name, at least, on the YouTubes is Miss Snow. So, Miss Snow, give thanks for your comments, so forth and so on, as well as other subscribers as well. But your comments, recent comment to our posting about this particular book was interesting because you asked whether your name, um, your baptismal name, was in there. Now, I think you said your baptismal name, if we were, if we're correct, is, let's see if we can put this here, is... Uh, Fikarte Selase. Fikarte Selase. Fikarte right? Um, I think you spell it or can be spelled uh, some like this. Fikarte and Selase in the usual spelling. Fikarte Selase. Uh, ones might choose different, maybe add a Q, because it's Fikar, it's K, Fikarta, 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 Selassie. Now, it means actually, as you probably already know, it means the, the love of the Trinity. Alright? It means the love of the Trinity, or the Triune God. God of Abraham, Yisahak, and Yaakov, the triune God. Fikarte Selase. Let's put a quote around this particular name. Now, um, you asked whether your name was in there and you put a little grin grin behind it. And we did respond, and hopefully you would have already got to see our particular response, which was an effort to explain. But a little revelation came to me at that particular time. Something I think I thought about before, but the questions, we give thanks for the questions, and as you said before, if you've asked questions or some might have even sent messages, like personal messages to the Ethiopian World Net, the YouTube's account, and may have not received a comment or a reply, um, we would like to redirect you to the lojsociety.org, www.lojsociety.org. Um, if you feel that your question or your request or even your comment is um, you would like us to, to, to get a chance to look at it. For a lot of reasons, it's always not best to send those sort of messages. In, uh, in other words, you could send us a message maybe and give us some sort of a, a link or a heads up, but it would probably be better to go to our website, um, www.lojsociety.com. Uh, Dot .org, or you could put line at judasociety.org, and it should lead you and guide you, direct you to our main website. But now, when you ask about Fikarte uh, Selassie, the love of the Trinity, and whether your name was in this particular book, um, I, I believe, if I recall correctly, not verbatim, but our response was that these sort of names, these sort of names such as, um, these are what they call baptismal names. These are like two-part baptismal names. Oftentimes, I like to liken these sort of names to like the angelic names, the angel names. For example, let me just write over here. You have the name um, uh, Geb, Gebr, Gebra El. You have the name Gebra El, right? Gebra El. Gebra, Gebra El. And you could write a G E. B, R, and you have the L, Gabriel, right, which means um, the worker or the strong one, the worker, the, the like, um, uh, in Hebrew we say Giborim or Gibor, Gibor is a strong man, but, but really it comes from the Ethiopic, the, the Hebraic Gibor, which is like, uh, which is like the, the Hebrew Gibor, is um, you have uh, 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 Gibar 
also Gebar Bamarinya, you know what I'm saying? And you also have Gebre, like Gebre. But actually, this means a, a, a farmer, a farmer. But it does come from the old Ethiopic word strength. My, my point in, in putting this right here is that there's two parts. It's two parts. One part, you could divide it like this. One part, this is one, and this is two right here. Uh, Gebra and El. El being a contraction of Chayil, of Chayil. El right here is a contraction of Chayil, as we have the um, Chayil, Chayil, Chayil contracted is contracted to El, or in some by some speakers it's Ayil, 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 Chayil or Ayil, and contracted El. And that means power. It actually means power, as Hayel means power. So when we have Hayla Selassie, it means the power of the Trinity. And this also is a baptismal name. Now, the two parts is like the Fikhutta Selassie. But what a lot of folks don't recognize is that there are a lot of um, there are a lot of uh, um, biblical names. Biblical names, which are also two part, which are also two part um, names. Now, when you ask about Sikarta Salase, if it is in this particular book, not in this particular form, not in this particular Ethiopian Orthodox um, Beta Christian form. But what is the meaning of the name? See, if we go to what the meaning of the name, this is why we say concerning our new book, which has been compiled and chiefly written by our sister wife and the first lady of LOJ Society, the assistant director of this of this lodge, Tehitsuna Garma Asfal, we say at the very beginning, we say a dictionary of ancient and beautiful biblical names in royal and hard with English translations and notes, and then we say including many rare and meaningful names not found in other Amharic name books. But the, the, the point is the meaning, the meaning. When we say meaningful names, we also give some, some um, notes and information concerning the meanings. So in this particular form, Fikarta Salase, Love of the Trinity, you will not find it in this particular form right here. But what you will find, and this is where the Holy Spirit directed me, and I give thanks and praise, because it actually allows us to um, make this connection, if not for all, at least for some. Let us uh, take, take, down, take down some of this right here. Let us take this off. Make some room. All right. Okay, just to make some room for what we're about to um, put up here next. So when we found this particular name right here, this particular name on page 132, because love of the Trinity, the Trinity is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the living, not the God of the dead, is the triune God, the one God, but the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Ahadu, Ahadu, Amlak, the one God. Do not get confused like many people who, are, who don't know how to count to three um, get confused when our Trinity the true trinity is not an idol, not to be confused with other trinities which are not reflective of the one God. Now, when we get to page of this new book, page 132, we find this name. The name in the English is Jediah and then Jedidah. Jedidah, Jediah. These two names. Now, what's interesting, let's write, let's write this right here. Okay, since we are out a little bit, Je, you have Jediah, this is a J right here, Jediah, and then you have, this marker is running out, Jediah and Jedidah. Now the difference is that this is a, 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 a male name. Jedid, Jedidiah, and Jedidah is a female name. Now, 
those who know about the Ethiopian baptismal name probably also know that there is, is uh, Fikra, Fikra Salase, which is the male, and for females it's Fikarte, Fikarte Salase, Fikarte Salase, which is two words that form one sense, like the name Gabriel and like the name Yedidi Ya and Yedid Ya. Yadidia, Yadidia. This is also a two-part name because this is this is Yah here. Okay, we are a little bit this thing. Okay, here we go. This is Yah right there, the Aya, and this is also Yah here. This is also Yah here. So what does this mean? This means the love, the love of Yah, the love of Yah. And it's Yahweh who is the living God, you understand, or the true God known to us as the triune God, the God of Abraham, Yisahak, and Yaakov. So when you ask this, in this particular new book that we have, um, Biblical Names in Amharic, well, yes, it is, but not in this particular form. Remember, the first edition is the Biblical Names in the Amharic pronunciation, in the Amharic true version of it. This is why we did this book. The second book now will have many of the other Orthodox, some of the Orthodox baptismal names, as well as some of the traditional names. Some of these traditional Ethiopian names are, may not be biblical, but they are reflective of the idea, the meanings. The key thing is the meaning is the context and is the meaning. So this name, Fikarta Salase, being a female, being, being for a female member of the Orthodox faith of Ethiopia, the Ethiopian Orthodox faith, corresponds to the biblical name, Jedida, Jedida, or Jedida. Now the male, which is because the Salasi corresponds to Solomon's, Solomon, King Solomon's other name. This is King Solomon's other name. Um, Jedidia, Jediah, Jedidia. So there's a female and there's a male name. Now, Bamarinya, we say Yeidaya, 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 or Yeidai, Yeidai, Yeidaya, or Yeidai, and then we have Yedida. Now this will be Yedida or um, Ye. Let's see. We have to get another another marker, another marker right here. Yekata. Let's get another marker right here so we can put the Ye D Da Yedida. Ye di da ye di da ye di da the female and then the the male is ye ye da ya ye ye da ya ye ye da ya Yeyedaya. So Yeyedaya corresponds to Fikre Salase and Yedida corresponds to Fikarta Salase as per as per the meaning because this means the love of the Trinity but in the sense of the bee the beloved the beloved of the Trinity See, here's, here's the mishtir, here's the key, it's the beloved of the Trinity, or the beloved of Yahweh, of Yahweh, of Y-H-W, which is the triune form of Yahweh, Y-H-W, the H, the final H being a repetition of the secondary H, or the coming again in that sense of the sun. So when we have YHWH, we also have a form YH 
YHW. The older form is actually YHW, Yahweh, without the final hit. But it's still referential to the Trinity or the God of Abraham, Yisahak, and Yaakov. Uh, there's more that we could say on this, but this is to basically answer um, Miss Snow, Miss Snow or Fikar Tisalase, your name is in this book in its meaning, in its biblical Amharic sense. So this particular book right here, let's just show you the cover again. This particular book right here is the book that we are speaking about, Biblical Names in Amharic. Get your copy today and on page 4, for Fikrata Salase, page 132, if you look 132, that's where your name is in its Ethiopian Hebrew sense. So take this down, more to come. Give thanks and praise. Once again, Malcolm Ledete Lij Tefari Adarasachu.